This is Jim from PCTEL. In this video, we are going to review all the inputs and outputs of the G-Flex scanning receiver so you are confident you can configure it correctly. Shown here is the front panel of the G-Flex scanning receiver. On the lower left is the power switch. On the upper left and center are the RF1 and RF2 ports that support sub 8 GHz FR1 bands. G-Flex has two FR1 ports which are required for LTE MIMO, 5G NR dual polarization testing, or for testing wideband frequency ranges requiring two antennas to cover the full range. On the upper right is a 2.4 millimeter connector required to support FR2 bands up to 48 GHz. This is different from our 2.92 millimeter connector, also known as a K connector, on the HB Flex, which supports FR2 bands up to 40 gigahertz. Below this is a micro SD slot and there is an, also an optional terabit internal drive available. On the lower right is the power connector. The USB port shown here is an AOA port to connect to an Android tablet and can also be used for a future Wi-Fi dongle. This COM port is a USB 3.0 port used to connect to a laptop. Below this communication port is a Bluetooth antenna port when connecting wirelessly to an Android tablet. In the lower center is the 10 gigabit Ethernet port for future IQ streaming. To the left of that is the Ethernet LAN port, and below that is the GPS antenna port connector. Thank you for watching this overview of the G-Flex scanning receiver front panel interface.